Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. All right, so I changed my mind on this one. I didn't read because I just assumed it's not bleached. So I get other ones that are. I got this at a local grocery store here. A smaller grocery store. We don't go to it often because we splurged this weekend, but it's not worth it because it causes me more physical issues, pain. I have to do the best I can to stay away from bleached flour and not a ton of flour to begin with. So this has me disappointed. What else are you on here to flip flop a drops on? Voting. Yup, flipping around again. I'm like, well, I definitely have to vote if some of the Amish are. The only other thing that's getting me agitated is, well, yeah, because you were late and your hormones, Heather. That does explain a lot. Um, I was late again, but it came, so I guess my story isn't over yet. Is we splurged this weekend on foods that we shouldn't have been eating, and I was just bloated, like, oh, my goodness. The dogs might be on the front porch. I'm really bummed about that flatbread. I was like, man, I wasn't, I was a little sore, but good God. And then obviously we splurged at the, um, the comedy house, house of laughs. And, uh, a couple of them more came out, but it's going to be getting chilly enough that it might be a form of cosmos. Who are you? Did you just pop up? Okay, so we have to vote. Not to mention I was having the weirdest dreams. And I know it's probably remote attacks. What was the other thing? I want to discuss this word targeted. Now they're flinging the word targeted around like it's like it's french fries. Uh, I don't think that we should be just flamboyantly using the word targeted. But I can't control speech, right? It's just, just weird to me because... The people that we know that are targeted, there's small groups of us, but we're still labeled as nuts, is uh, been targeted for decades even. Some of us completely destroyed in so many ways in life. Is uh, <clears throat> we can't be, I don't think we should be throwing the word targeted around, but I, I, I can't do nothing about it. I mean, I think that it needs to be reserved for like serious serious situations and uh so now they're saying that the republican party is targeting the amish i'd say the amish are pretty solid like they've went a long time without voting and stuff so if the amish are voting hoping for some relief because they're being targeted they are being targeted by the government the federal government and the farming and all of this corruption in washington dc Okay, so I was having these wacky dreams, but I just assume it was remote, like just being harassed, like remotely. <clears throat> and RFK would appear in my dream, and he's like, "Please, Miss Drew, you need, Miss Drew, you need to, you must vote. You got to vote this time. Uh, you, we have to get in there and try to fix things." So I don't know. That that's been really weird. That that was actually why I wasn't going to vote because uh, some of my dream life. Look, I'm gonna like. Some of my dream life is like, uh, watch, watch what he's doing. Is uh been pretty wacky. And so I was like, no, I ain't I ain't doing it. You know, I ain't gonna do it. And uh But I'm gonna have to do it. So it's that's just what it is. I mean, I still have two weeks to flip-flop, but I can't keep flip-flopping back and forth, and I got to go vote. So, I, you know, the best I can do, I guess, is hand it to the Lord. If I mess up on this, then I mess up on it. But outside of that, here's our day. They tried to trick me as if they hadn't had breakfast uh, with John this morning. So I got to sleep in a little bit finally because some of the nights last week... I was not sleeping the best. So I seem to be back on track. And, um... That's all I have, you guys. So, yup, I'm gonna vote. I'm vote. If the Amish are voting, I think I better vote. I mean, that's... I'd say that's, like... 
And it's kind of neat in a way. It's almost like it's like they're being liberated in a way. It's kind of neat. But it's not neat that they've been harassed by the federal with farming and all that. I've, I've read some really disturbing accounts of how the federal is handling. I mean, I think about what like some jerk called us in for four chickens that we were letting do some free grazing. We didn't just have them cooped in here. And this, this was the sleep time enclosure to keep them safe. We had it netted. So to think that even just four and they're like, and then someone would say, well, yeah, but you were supposed to have two and a half acres. No, we were actually told as long as we'd kept it under control and no roosters that uh, we could have a few chickens. So you're going to say, well, you were told it wasn't in writing. Yeah, that's where we aired. That's where we aired. So, but maybe it was meant to be that way. Maybe it's because it's about something else. Or just that we were so, we just had to get out of where we were. Is uh, I hope that it doesn't fully freeze yet. We'll see her blooms on this cute little one all by herself, standing so strong and tall. Oh gosh. All right. So, and we'll say hi to the hippos today. This has got longer than I was supposed to. So, okay, Amish, you did it. You got me. You, you got, you got, you steered me to go vote. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to think that I'm not going to get too hopeful, but I hope to God something can happen because after now being able to research further uh, financial corruption in D.C. and Pelosi and them just been in there, just stuck in there, just pulling all their crap this long. I'm disgusted. No, I really am. And I think we need to use the word disgusted. Now, my avocado tree did grow. The thing is, is I can't be wheeling in an avocado tree. So I don't know. I'm not going to be wheeling an avocado tree in and out of the house. I've had to think about it a lot. And I'm like, well, it's the first avocado you ever sprouted. In 20-some years, whenever I would have started to try. And uh, it's this one here. I was thinking, well, maybe if I just have it in a in a spot and then, like, cover it, you know, have some kind of covering. And then this is funny. It just came when this broke. See how it broke? Um, we didn't secure it properly. Look at what he's doing. Look. You're like, how could you ever feel any sort of impatience or, you know, just feeling annoyed with this? Look at... How could you? Well, because I'm getting old. And I've had, I've raised a lot of dogs. And these two needed like 20 year old athletes. I think it's like just 20 year old fit, no prior injury athletes. Just, just running them, running them, running them. 